So we're now going to look at some examples that involve matrices. So given that A is 2, 1, 0, 1, we need to prove that A to the N is 2 to the N, 2 to the N minus 1, 0, 1. Okay? So this looks quite scary at the start. Um, so let's just see how this is going to work. Okay? Let's go through the steps of induction. So stage one, prove true for n equals 1. So a to the 1 would be 2 to the 1, 2 to the 1 minus 1, 0, 1, which of course is 2, 1, 0, 1, which is precisely what we had originally. Okay, So we know it works there. Number two, assume true for n equals k. So a to the k is 2 to the k, 2 to the k minus 1, 0, 1. So stage 3, we need to prove that it's true for n equals k plus 1. OK, so... If um, I'm going to have a to the k plus 1, then um, what I'm going to then need is to think, right, well, a to the k plus 1 is going to be a to the k times a to the 1. OK, or just a. Now, a to the k is this 2 to the k, 2 to the k minus 1, 0, 1. OK? We're multiplying that by the matrix A. 2, 1, 0, 1. So we're going to multiply these two matrices together. So we've got this two, top row multiplied by this first column. So 2 to the k times 2. And we've also got 2 to the k minus 1 times 0. Then we've got the top row multiplied by this. So we've got 2 to the k times 1 plus 2 to the k minus 1. Here we've got 0, 1 multiplying with 2, 0. So that would be 0. And 0, 1 multiplying with 1, 1, we get 1. So here we've got 2 to the k times 2 to the 1 which is 2 to the k plus 1. And we've got 0 there. We've got 2 to the k plus 2 to the k. So that's two lots of 2 to the k that we've got there. Take away 1. And we've got 1 there. Now, 2 times 2 to the k is 2 to the 1 times 2 to the k, which is 2 to the k plus 1. And so you can see that this is precisely what it would be if I'd substituted n for k plus 1. OK? And I would have substituted n for k plus 1, n for k plus 1. And I would have got that matrix there. And so that proves it. So as true for n equals 1, and if true, for n equals k, then it is true for n equals k plus 1. So we've shown that. We assumed it was true for n equals k. We've then shown that it's true if that assumption is correct. And so it is true for all n greater than or equal to 1. OK? And so that's how we can do proof by induction with matrices.